everybody, it's Kayleen and Raymond with Go Time Training and a hot topic around here has been sitting all day. Like I'm sitting at a desk, my back is starting to hurt, Doesn't mine hurts, but desk. I thought it was because of age. <laughs> oh yeah, because you're uh, so old. I don't know. Um, or it's two o'clock and I've hit that mid-afternoon crash, I have no energy. A lot of people think that they need to reach for some food, candy, uh, caffeine, and that's not the case at all. It might just be that your back is hurting because you need to get up and stretch, you need to get up and move, or you're low energy because you need to get up and move. So, I have my lovely Vanna White here with me today. He is going to show us four different exercises that you can do in your cubicle, in your office, wherever you're at, um, to help with that back problem or to help give you a little bit more energy midday. So, take it over. Okay, well, um, where's my desk at? Or, okay, oh, we have this beautiful green, um, go time green here. So, one thing is squats. Squats are going to increase circulation. It's going to get those legs moving as we've been sitting there for a long time. So, we want to make sure that we can do some chair squats, which is easy. You got the, your cubicle right there. You can sit down. Make sure that you're squatting back, get putting those hip hinge, pushing back, driving through your heels, right back up. And you could do two or three sets of 10 to 15 squats. And that would be a great way to at least get some circulation going using those core. So, speaking of core, let's go into a full plank. So as we sit over our desk, we kind of end up slunching over. We don't activate our deep core muscles. Uh, and so this is a good way to keep those activated and keep those strong throughout your whole day. So we'll go down to a full low plank on your forearms here. You want your feet about hip width apart and you want to keep your belly button drawn in to your spine, which is going to activate that. And you're going to squeeze those glutes. Okay, I can only do that for about 10 seconds. <laughs> All right, and another good one is going to be a floor bridge. So as we sit, a lot of times these muscles right here will shorten, uh, and that causes us some pain. Or if we sit slunch, they will kind of shorten up as, as well. So that can cause some pain uh, within our lower back and some uh, posture deviations. So bridges are a great way to do this. Um, your, uh, also, your employees might actually like this, to watch you do these sometimes at work. But, so you want to sit with your uh, hip and knee and toes all in line together. You're going to push through your heels. A lot of times people push their hips up this way and cause a lot of arch in their lower back. You actually want to push out through your knees that way, contract the core, squeeze the booty. All right. Do about two or three sets of that, also 10 to 15. And then some open wide hugs here, really squeezing those shoulder blades together. So as we sit with a computer, our shoulders kind of come forward and our back muscles kind of get weakened. So by doing this and squeezing, holding for one to two seconds each part, once again, 2 to 15 can keep our shoulders back and nice. Um, also, just keeping nice posture, and there's lots of stretches that you can do, which we will attach so you guys can go through those and kind of see the descriptions for each one.